Thoughts 23 here and today's night therapy. I'm going to give you all my top 10 favorite purchases of 2022 so far this year since we're a little over halfway through the year and it was a good year because these three actually did not make the list and I'm going to tell you why. Uh, the attention to detail, bar lock, I just haven't had uh, enough carry time with it because it's summertime. This is a 3V blade and it's just too risky. I love the knife. Um, I think I'm going to love it a lot more once I get to start using it and carrying it. So unfortunately, the bar lock did not make it. And this beauty right here, the Hinder XM18 Spanto, uh, three and a half inch with the full tie. Um, textured scale and lock side it's an absolute beauty but uh the weight kind of keeps me from carrying it during uh the summer as well so once i got jeans on this one will probably get more pocket time it's usually how it goes even though i have some knives on this list that are closest i just have a smaller hinder that i seem to carry more and unfortunately the shirogorov uh neon zero didn't make the list because it's a dedicated flipper and even though I love the knife uh, I, I don't carry it as much as knives without flippers or with multiple opening methods it's just how I am <laughs> so these three didn't make the list but let's get started you're gonna see a theme throughout this entire list we just talked about it number one is gonna have to be my Demco AD 20.5 with the Transparent Knives Reblade Magna Cut, the uh, Knife Tastic Linoless Titanium Frag Scales, and just an absolute amazing knife. Now, this knife is pretty much a full on custom. <laughs> there isn't much left to it that is stock besides the back spring. Uh, even the screws aren't stock anymore. It's got a Lynch Northwest deep carry pot clip. I love this thing. It slices like a dream. It's a fidgety knife. It's comfortable. It's easy to carry. And yeah, this is the one I always grab whenever I have some cutting chores around the house. If I don't have something in the pocket already. <clears throat> and it's big brother, the Demco 8020. This is a machine ground one that I got the original goat frag scales to match my 80-20.5. <laughs> absolutely love it. Even though this thing's a chunker, um, I absolutely love this knife. It makes the awesome, the most awesome sounds. Listen to this. Thwack. Yeah. Love the sounds it makes. It, it definitely weights down the pocket, and usually when I carry this, this is the only knife in the pocket, unless I'm carrying something very light, like my TRM uh, Neutron or something. But love both of these knives, <laughs> heavy duty and super slicers. So I carry these two together as an excellent pair. And I'm apologize now. Most of these aren't available, and these are just the ones that I like the most. <clears throat> Next up, we have the TW Price Dawn. I got in on this pre-order after I did the review of the knife. I'm excited to see where TW Price takes it from here. This thing is an absolute gem right here. Absolutely amazing. The action's awesome. I love that, that milling pattern on that titanium. It's got a beautiful hand rub satin. The action's amazing. Uh, <laughs> mill titanium pocket clip. It's a front flipper as well. That's not really my thing, but the knife slices great. It's comfortable in hand. And I would definitely keep your eyes on TW Price. I don't know if he has any more of these available. If so, you probably want to follow his Instagram. But that's the TW Price Dawn. <coughs> Number four is the one I picked up this year. And that is the Les George VECP Thumb Stud version. Uh, I love, love the pattern on here. And Les George was my favorite uh, knife maker whenever I first got into the hobby. He's still uh, one of my favorite knife makers. And something about his designs just speak to me. And I think this knife brings back a lot of nostalgic uh, feelings whenever I first got into the YouTube scene. You know, what is it, 10, 11 years ago. Um... Just a awesome knife, a tank of a knife, comfortable, and I just love, love that blade. Just absolutely amazing. And these things are on washers. 
one of the smoothest knives on washers that I have. And this thing, it'll keep getting smoother. I, this is my, I think, fifth VCP, and they get smoother and smoother over time, especially the washer ones. Next up, we have one coming from EMP EDC, and that is a Nimble X. Uh, three and a half inch with that beautiful spear point blade. Absolutely love this knife. Once again, that frag pattern. I uh, love the fact that there's multiple opening methods. It's comfortable in hand. Uh, you can top flip it if you want. You can front flip it, but I don't ever, I don't ever front flip it. Just a beautiful knife, easy to carry, and definitely very, very fidgety. Another next one was another pre-order. <laughs> and uh, this is coming from Jason Grant, and this is a Grant Gripper. Uh, I got to uh, review this knife before it was released, and I was sold. This hollow grind on here is super thin. It's an excellent slicer. It's a chunker, but uh, I think it's beautiful in its own way. You can choke up on it. It's got jipping four days. But there's just something about it that I love. And this is another one that keeps getting smoother and smoother the more I carry and use it. Sorry if y'all hear my dog. He's nuts. Next up, we have the Sharp by Design Mini Tempest. <laughs> another one that is absolutely beautiful, kind of like the T, uh, TW Price Dawn. Got another beautiful hand rub satin finish on there. You got that fat carbon in there. I, I forget the name of it. And those beautifully contoured scales. Sorry, the mailman or something must be at the door. Because my dog is going nuts. <laughs> um, now, this one is pretty much a dedicated front flipper. However, that fuller, you can get to it from the back and do a nice little spidey flick. Super comfortable. Perfect size for me. Absolutely love the uh, Mini Tempest. And <laughs> I think pretty much anybody who got in on this <coughs> pre-order loves theirs too. I'll tell you, uh, Brian Nadeau does not design a bad knife. If you ever wanted to get in on a pre-order or you were just trying to think about it, he's the one to go with. He always nails it. Riot produces them for him, and they're always flawless. All right, next up, one of my another one of my favorite designers, and that is Matt Christensen. This is the Maverick S. Uh, another pre-order. These are still kind of available here and there. They drop in at retailers. I don't know if there's still any available, but uh, just keep an eye out on them. And you could probably DM Matt. He'd probably be able to let you know. <clears throat> I got the micarta frame liner lock with the zirconium clip and accents and thumb stud. Another super slicer with that deep, deep hollow grind. Super comfortable. Only, only thing I wish, I wish I would have gotten one of the uh, frame lock, titanium frame locks. It, it's just, uh, it, I think it'd be easier to disengage the lock. Even though this one, I've gotten used to it and it's not bad. This thing's gotten super smooth. Uh, beautiful, beautiful knife. <clears throat> we got two more left. Next up, we got the Love Concepts Avant. Now, this one... Aesthetically, is not the best looking knife to me, but I must say that I carry this thing all the time. It's got an amazingly deep hollow grind on there, and that's, you know, one pattern that you see. It's got that beautiful big hole there, so you can flip it any which way you want. You can uh, slow roll it. Look how smooth that is. <laughs> and these are on uh, phosphor bronze washers, and this thing keeps getting smoother and smoother. You got a beautiful crown spine on there. Um, M390 blade steel, and I'm sorry, I probably didn't mention the blade steel on most of those, but I think pretty much every one of them is either M390, uh, or 204P, or it, it, one of the M390 analog analogs, uh, besides the, um, this one's XHP, and this one is in Crewware, and I, I've, I've said this one's magnet cut. So, sorry about that. I just like this. It's a rustic look. It's super lightweight, uh, comfortable in hand. That micarta just takes, uh, you know, a nice patina over time. Nice wire pocket clip. This is just one that I, I carry so often because it's such a good user. 
Um, it's about time for me to sharpen her up, and we'll see how much I like it then. I think I usually like them more after I sharpen them up because they tend to hold an edge better after the factor bevel's gone. All right, last but certainly not least, one that I picked up from Blade Show, and that is the Monterey Bay Knives uh, Sea Otter and Magna Cut with the Knife Modders Frag Titanium Scales. And um, <coughs> the guys over at Monterey Bay Knives put this duplex grind on here. I just think it's a beautiful knife. Um, you know, I reviewed the <laughs> regular one with the flat titanium and magna cut blade without the duplex grind and i absolutely loved it this is another one that is riding on teflon i mean uh fossil bronze washers absolutely stupid smooth and they break in more and more as those washers burnish themselves along the blade um I'm still trying to decide if I'm going to keep this clip. I think I have another clip that I just got in that will probably fit here. Or I may shape this back in. I already marked it out. I might do that today. I like how this works. And I think it's a cool clip. I don't know. Uh, these are the, the, the sea otters is one that I grab a lot. Because I don't have to worry about it rusting because of the uh, magnet cut is, you know, pretty uh, highly uh, corrosion resistance. I haven't had any issues with any of my Magna Cut uh, rusting, even with uh, the blasted blade, which I was kind of worried about so far. So good. I don't see anything there. And yeah, it, it has been in the pocket when I was super sweaty. So uh, we'll see if, if that changes. I'll definitely let y'all know. And that's been my favorite purchases so far of 2022. I would love to hear some of your guys, uh, you know, favorite couple of purchases this year um especially i love love it whenever it's something that i've never heard of before and i'm not saying you gotta have something that i've never heard of before to let me know but those just get me super excited because uh you know i start checking out somebody news work and you know the next thing i know i am on their uh bandwagon you know <laughs> So there you go. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them down below. I hope everybody's having an absolute, absolute amazing day. And I will see y'all on the next one. Peace.